What's up, guys? Machete Panda here. I am back with another episode. This is going to be season three. We ended season two short because guess what? A new DLC dropped. And that new DLC is surrounded basically mo mostly around the, uh, the forestry aspect. And we're going to take a look at that now. Um, without further ado, let's get started. There's also a new map, which is very exciting. Um, the new map is Silver Run Forest, this one right here. Um, apparently there's a lot of trees. Apparently they're really pushing us into getting us into, uh, forestry and utilizing the forestry equipment because this DLC seems to be all about that. So let's get going. Oh, oh, let's not miss, miss the map. Um, so to start, we want to make sure that... The new DLC is loaded, and there it is, Platinum Edition Expansion. And let's get started. Let's see what's going on here. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I've had a horrible time doing forestry in this game. Really tough to control the thing, the, the different machines. Um, one of my biggest obstacles has always been whenever I use the, the tree cutter, the, the actual machine itself with the arm um, and you drag the tree along the tree is almost like it's on ice slipping all over the place like the friction there's something off with the physics on the friction um, I haven't played the, the forestry equipment in uh, farming simulator 22 so maybe they've proved that but as you're dragging the tree along the tree would be flipping to the side and flipping to the right and flipping to the left. And you're trying to bring it over to a pile and line it up with a pile so that you can start making your cuts on that pile. Um, that's not good if it's flying along sideways and all that. <clears throat> I'm going to stick with this guy right here. I don't really, I don't customize them and all that stuff. I, I, it's, it's some people's things. I unlocked something apparently. I forget what I unlocked. I think I unlocked this. I don't know. Apparently. Oh. Maybe I will change them up. Something that's a little bit more forestry-like, right? I think I think this was more forestry-like. Let's yeah, let's let's do. Now he doesn't need the leggings. This will this will be fine right here. That's good enough. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Can we change his shirt? Maybe we can't change his shirt without him losing the vest. We can't change the undershirt without him losing the vest. That really stinks. Oh, well. All right, we'll stick to that. <laughs> Can we swap the hat out? We <laughs> can't swap the hat out. That's great. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on. All right. And let's just go ahead and confirm. All right. Wow. Right straight into it. Look at this. This is kind of cool. This reminds me of something. You know what this reminds me of? Red Dead Redemption 2. All right. Well, let's go down there and uh, see what is going on. Looks like we have some equipment. Um, what's this map look like? There are trees everywhere. This is a little bit of farmland. Interesting. Um. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. There's a sawmill over here. That, please tell me that's not the only sawmill. Oh, good. Man, having to take our lumber all the way over there, that would be horrifying. Um, a little gas station. What's this? Oh, the mine. So you, there's a mine in this map too, which is very interesting. And... There's some equipment over there, too. Uh, let's just run down here real quick. It's amazing how I can just jump off cliffs and survive. All right, so I presume that this is our equipment, right? And then it looks like we have some more equipment over here and over here. And that's about it. What do we own? Oh, we only own these plots right here. So why do we have equipment over here and over here? Let's tab over to that equipment and see what's going on here. Well, I'm going to hook this thing up. So it's really cool that all of this equipment is equipment from the new DLC. Speaking of the new DLC, let's take a look at the purchase menu. 
and see what we have here. So I'm going to start with forestry machines. And they would be platinum expansion. All right. Wow, this bad boy is obviously for picking up loads of trees, picking them up, and then dropping them into the back of a truck or something like that. Um, that guy would come in very useful. Too bad his base price is out of the roof. Uh, this is an interesting one. Um, okay. Okay, so I guess you can hook up logs in the back here. Um, I wouldn't know exactly how or why to use that. Uh, there's got to be a better tools at lower prices. This is just one of those little loaders for the back. Oh, it's almost like a skid steer. Huh. Uh, this is the same thing as this other one over here. We have this guy right here. Um, then we have some additional loaders. Here's a skid steer. Um, so my dad was a landscape architect. He worked for huge international um, landscape firms and uh, did projects all over the world, but mostly in the U.S. But this, this is a skid steer, and I've seen these guys in person. They are just absolutely huge. They are awesome. You drive up to the log, you grab it, you spin your seat around, and you can drive away and drag all the logs with you. This, I have not seen one of these. I mean, I've seen this front piece, but I haven't seen a specialized arm like this. So that's interesting. All right. Um, oh, wow. Look at the price on this thing, which makes sense. Um, so this is another tree feller. Uh, this one can fell trees and you have extreme control over where they're going to fall, as you can see from this gigantic arm. Um, your cutter's down here. Uh, I don't know how much of this they rendered because you, you can make this cab tilt back and forth, forward and backward and all this stuff. So you can like literally be on the side of a mountain with this thing cutting trees down. These little uh, crawlers, they, they come out and widen. Um, so that you have more, more, uh, leverage when you're cutting your trees down. I mean, this thing's one sick beast. It's awesome. Uh, then we have a couple of, oh, more tree fellers. We have this one, I believe only ours is extremely used with next to no paint left. And then we're back to the other stuff. Um, what do we have for... Oh, there's new trucks, too. Let's see these. Platinum expansion. There we go. Nice. I like the new trucks. Trucks. Nice, nice. And then these are all trucks that I added. So, um, it's a bunch of Volvos. That's great. Nice looking, too. Real nice. What's this one? Oh, that's not it. Or not i thought that was the same style very cool wow look at all of the options on this one. Oh, ho, ho, fantastic look at this can i have a sleeper unit on it nice wow great i presume you got similar options for these all right cool and then probably for this one, the same thing. Nice. All right, whatever. And then I also wanted to see, um, oh, yeah, so the spray cans here. So you can mark your trees, um, which is really cool. Really adds to the realism. Um, each color means something different uh, about the tree. Um, like marked for this season, marked for next season. Um, some of the colors mean diameters. Uh, I mean, it just depends on where you're working. So, are there any telly handed? Nope, no additions there. Any wheel loader additions? Platinum expansion. Look at this. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, a Volvo bucket. 
2,400, 1,000. All right. Wow. Look at these guys. 3,000, 5,000. 5,000, 10,000. Whoa. I like this bucket. 10,000. Really? Oh, and it has hydraulics on it. Oh, does it tilt double? Like it tilts and then the bucket tilts, probably. All right. I like that bucket. 10,000 liters. That'd move some stuff. And then we got a bag lifter, another grappler. All right, cool. And I think there was a new low. Yep, yep. Here we go. Oh, that is a cool looking one. That's nice. All right. And I wonder if they had any chainsaws. No. Not that there's anything special about the chainsaws. Got a bunch of forestry equipment. Here's the platinum expansions. All right, so we have this guy. A little tow behind. Uh, this puppy, you, you can move trees like right up the side of the mountain with this guy. So those guys are really useful. And then we've got nice. And can I add a hook on the back? I wonder if I can add a hook on the back. Chains. Hmm. I don't think I can add a hook on the back. I like the John Deere colors. I know. Please don't get mad at me, guys. I like the John Deere color. That's all. Okay, let's just do jetpack. I actually think it should be the other way around. All right. I'm getting distracted. Um. Yeah, I'll stop doing that. All right. So this one... Can you attach them to an, you can't attach. That's really stinks. Hmm. It'd be nice if you could attach this onto another one and you could have like a train going on there. So it's too bad you can't. And this guy, oh, this is like a tree planter or something. Put your little saplings in there and you plant your trees around. So, um, we know what that is. Another cutter for lifting. This will um, grind your stumps. And that thing we already, that's a plug in I got. So, and that was it for these. So, all right. All right there's more in here like i think there's um i really don't want to spend much more time i want to get right into it there's also a new wheel loader a couple of them check it out wow this is a big guy look at this guy wow that is fantastic i can't wait to get that one all right cool so let's back out of here let's take a look at our equipment um this is another new one. So this is what we're going to be using to take the trees down to the lumber mill. Um, this guy will pull the trees forward so that we can load them on. That's great. And then this guy will cut our trees. And that's the equipment here. We have more equipment up here and down here. So let's go to that equipment. All right, so I can't get to that equipment. Um, I don't know why though. I can see it. I can see this equipment. Let's get that bucket on it. I can see this. Oh, look at this. I think we are meant to do this. All right, so there's a roller coaster in this game, in this map, excuse me. And in this map, that roller coaster is designed for us to build it. And we're supposed to finish it. And once we have it finished, you can actually get on it and ride it around. So that's a cool little feature right there. Um, now, why can't I get 
into these these by tabbing to them. Do we technically not have that equipment? Maybe um, like that. We technically do not have that equipment. Okay. All right. So I guess this is just on a loaner loaner program from these guys. So we do not own this equipment. I don't know why we don't own it. I just feel compelled to get this uh, out of the way because I have a feeling when it gets to full height, there's really nothing that we can we can do at that point. I also need to change my clock. My clock is at a 5x multiplier, and um, I want it to be at a 1x multiplier. So let me just change that now. Real time. There we go. All right, cool. So the other one that we couldn't get to was down here. And this is the sawmill. There's a purchase spot at the sawmill. Let's go in this thing. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's let it stretch its legs. I don't know why this space is so big. Am I gonna, am I supposed to keep equipment in here? even though I don't own this property? Hmm. All right. I actually want to see what this buy point is. Oh, this is to buy planks and stuff for the, um, okay. So this is, this is probably stuff that you can buy to finish off the roller coaster. The roller coaster over there, is there a quick way to get to the roller coaster? Yes, there is. Roller coaster. So this roller coaster is partially finished and uh, we are meant to deliver products and stuff to help get it finished. Um, and once it's finished, apparently we can ride it. Um, drop products off here. If we can read this. The roller coaster is a big uh, project of the town of Silver Run Forest and therefore cannot be purchased. The construction requires prefab walls, metals, floors, uh, planks, wooden beams, so on and so forth and so on and so forth <laughs> to be finished. Uh, deliver these resources to the roller coaster and start building it. Once the construction is complete, be sure to t book a ride. All right, so let's just say this roller coaster is something that the town. Um, is building to attract people to their town so that they can get more tourists and they can get more money. And what is this? Dealer. Oh, this is the repair spot. Okay. And then here's where we buy vehicles. Great. Oh, speaking of buying vehicles, let's see what is on sale. Oh, that, that could come in useful if only we had the money. This guy is not going to come in useful for a long time. This guy might come in useful. He might come in. Uh, maybe, maybe we should buy him. I don't know. All right, let's get back over here and let's go over to this guy. So what properties do we own? That's the big question here. What properties do we own? Um, I think it was these. Yeah, these properties right here. We own these three properties. Yeah. All right. So we can just start cutting trees down, I guess, in these uh, areas. So, um, I don't know. Let's get started. I guess uh, I'm not exactly sure how. All right. So I haven't used one of these in a while. Okay. Interesting. Down, up. Fantastic. Okay. This thing. Let's turn it on. Great. Nice. Just going to start cutting trees around my own property. It just seems to make sense to me. Wait, how much of my of this property do I own? Did I own all the way up to here? Not quite. I'm like right on the borderline. Hmm. I don't want to cut any of these trees down. They're too small. Let's go down the hill here to the other area of our property. Let's see what we've got for trees. 
So I have had horrible luck with running this piece of equipment. Um, it's stubborn. It doesn't always cut the way I want it to cut. Um, and I don't like that. So now there's a new feature in here when it comes to these trees. Yeah, press O. So if I press O, it will automatically align to the tree for me. But I actually like to cut a little lower. So I'm just going to make it go down a little lower. And I'm just going to cut there. Oop. All right. And let's pull it back. And we'll make a pile somewhere back here. Here, between these two little saplings here. Let's make the pile right here. Whoops. What's it at? Five meters? Yeah, five meters should be a good start. We've got a little a little transport thing, so I think five meters is gonna be just fine for that little little guy. There we go. All right. Um I'm gonna cut several more of these. And then uh, we'll catch back up. So you don't need to sit here watching me cut these the entire time. But, um, oh, 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 look at that. But we'll just cut a few more together. It's a little longer. And uh, how low is this? I don't want it to hit the other ones. So cut, cut. Great. Look at this. It's so easy. Until you go to pick them up. I remember that being very hard in in, in number 19, uh, Farming Simulator 19. That was very hard. Uh-oh. They're falling. Ugh, and I just accidentally pulled one. <laughs> I just pulled one out of position. That's okay. Such is life. That's so great. Look at it. Line it right up for me. That's fantastic. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I want to line this tree up with my pile. Because it's just going to make life easier if I line it up with a pile. Cut. Cut and cut. Just keep cutting. That's what I got to do. I've got to get these logs cut. And then we got to load them up. And then we got to get them to the, the sawmill. Now we actually have quite a few here. I think we're not going to skip over. I'm not going to fast forward for you because frankly, we have a, a ton here already. I think what we need to do is pick these up. So I'm going to move this guy out of the way and we're going to jump over to this little guy. And this is the tough one. I have never had luck with this thing. I have never had luck with any of these ones where they have the little grappling arm and you load it up just never seems to work for me and i don't know what i'm doing wrong i'm doing something wrong i don't know what though i hate how they're articulated bodies because the whole screen spins back and forth as you articulate it all right let's start with one and see how we do All right, um, so that makes the arms open and close. This pivots it, oh, this is a lot like the controls of the um, other one. All right. And then this raises it, great. Turn it, pull it in. And then uh, turn it some more. And then we gotta spin this thing over. And then we got to open it up and spin it over. And then we got to drop the arm. Whoop, how do we drop the arm down without ruining Christmas? 
Oh, I'm so bad at this. I am so sorry. You guys painfully have to watch this. All right, lift it up. Oh, this is so horrible. Mm. Uh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How do I uh, pull? I want to pull it in some more. Okay, there we go. And open. <laughs> One down. <laughs> One down, guys. One down. Oh, my gosh. I am horrible. <laughs> Let's strap it in before we get any further. Because, frankly, I'm a little worried I'm going to be doing a lot of mess ups. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Lift the arm. Bring the arm over. Turn. Open. Drop. Drop the arm. Wait, which one's? There we go. Drop the arm. Oh, it's like, it's like those, those, um, what are those things? Uh, you go to the, uh, you're like a Chuck E. Cheese is when you were a kid or something like that. And they've got that <laughs> arm and you're trying to perfectly line it up for the, the fluffy dinosaur toy. <laughs> and it's just stubborn as anything. Oh, am I going to get two? That would be great if I got two. I'm not going to get two. So that's another thing. When I, when I tell people that there's wacky, some wacky physics in this game, like, that's what I mean. Just like, what was that? You know? Oh, come on. Mm. Hmm. This is this is why people get the auto loader. All right, slightly closer. No, 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 no. Don't don't turn. I don't want it to turn. I want the arm to go down. And down. Down. Is it just not strong enough to pick that up? I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Oh, we are we are not doing good here, guys. I mean, you guys are gonna go to sleep if I keep doing this. Let's try something a little did I get it? I didn't get it. Let's try something a little different. Um all right. I'm gonna try something different. Let's try hooking it up to this guy and pulling this out. Maybe if we pull it out. We can um <laughs> we can grab it easier if we pull it out. Maybe that's our big problem. We're not pulling the thing out enough. All right, so this is how this guy works. You pull up here to your log. You go in the direction that you want the log to be pulled in. You drop the plow into the ground, come up here, grab the wrench, pull the wrench to here, strap it. And then pull it out of the pile. There we go. And detach it. And let's see if it's easier to get now. So let's get back in this guy. And let's back up and see if we can get it now. Oh, finally. 
glorious, glorious, glorious days. Oh, the question is, can we get it over that arm there? Mm-hmm. 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 Keep strapping them. <laughs> I'm not going to let them not be strapped, to be honest, at this point. Like, they're such a pain to get around. Let's get this one. All right. And then what was release? Y, detach from tree. All right. Y is usually operating position, but most of the time it's operating position. So th that giants is just throwing me off just ever so slightly with Y. All right, I need to get a past that tree because I can't see past that tree. All right, gotcha. Lift them up. Come on, pull away, pull away. There we go. There we go. All right, let's keep loading these up and I'll come back. Ooh, I don't think that one's going to fit. All right. I guess, I guess we're good. <laughs> this one's not going to, it's not going to go away now. Uh, let's try and load this on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Depth perception is not good when you don't have two eyeballs on this game, which is why I appreciate a lot of the features that they added that help a person see exactly what's going on. And I, I'm, I'm nervous that I'm going to knock over all these other ones. So, oh, <laughs> that works too. All right. So I think we're pretty good with this load. So let's take this load over to the sell point and uh let's sell it and see how much money we get out of this so now i don't imagine the forestry aspect of this being all that fun because of all the physics issues it's just so hard to control things in this game um as far as the forestry equipment goes like you saw that when the grippers gripped onto that log, like they phased right through the log. Like that would obviously not happen in real life. So this truck is extremely slow. I'm already thinking that we need to replace this thing. 
Um, and because I don't like the gripper so much, I'm actually thinking we need to replace it with like just a regular, you know, trailer that goes on the back of a tractor and um, maybe a fork, um, a log grabbing fork on the end of a, uh, whether it's a tractor or a friend loader, a wheeler, wheel loader, I think is what they call in the game. So something like that. Um, I'm going to have to cross the road with this dragging log, which makes me nervous pretty soon. Oh, 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 that's no good. That's no good. Do not cause an accident with so many logs. I do not want to have to use super strength to turn the logs right side up or to have to lift this whole thing and turn it right side up. There's some tools in the game that I don't like using. Um, although they're helpful when they're really needed. So I recently came across a, uh, it was a bucket loader for your, your wheel loader. And the bucket carried like, I don't know, it was like 20,000 liters it just it was just too much to make sense you know it just didn't make sense that 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 bucket in real life would carry that um because it's it's a simu i say it all the time it's a simulator but it's a game so i wanted to have some simulation aspects to it but it's also a game so i want to enjoy it and if i'm doing something too long um then it's not enjoyable however Let's see how much we got money we get for this these logs. 10k? Not too bad. Not too bad for just cutting down what Mother Nature gave us. Um, what do we have again? Oh, for sale. Nothing much. I really feel like I should grab this because I, I have a bad feeling that I'm going to need this at some point. I just have a bad feeling that we're going to need that. And I'm not going to grab it. And I'm going to be like, I wish I grabbed that. I just don't have the money to grab it right now. Um, yeah, so some things, uh, just it's just taking it a little too far, you know? <clears throat> um, like a bucket that unrealistically holds like 20,000 liters or a silo that holds 12 million liters. Like one little silo. I don't mean like the series of silos, but I mean like one little silo. Oh, the train is new. Look at the train. That's a new train. Did you see the uh, muffler on the top of the train? So that's often in, that's frequent in, in logging operations. What it does is it reduces the chances of sparks or flames coming out of the top of the train. Um, which is obviously very important in a forest environment. So, um, gosh, this thing moves so slow. I'm going to kind of take a shortcut through the woods. Let's see if I can. Uh, I can see my equipment through the woods over there. Yeah. So. Quite a few things we're going to work on here. But um, let's stop there for episode one. And uh, let's just go ahead and we'll take a, a picture for a cover. And uh, yeah, it's episode one. I hope you enjoyed um, I know logging is going to be frustrating for me in this game, but, um, I'm going to try and get as much done as possible and, um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Thank you.